Hello students, good morning to all of you all. Assalamu alaikum, I Bowen. Welcome to the online session. So today we will be doing the introduction session for now it is the grade eight and nine session. The new grade eight and the new grade nine. Okay, that session. Uh, at 10.30, we will have the grade new grade six and new grade seven. So if any grade six and seven are there, you can leave and join at uh, 10.30. <clears throat> now it is the session for um, the grade eight and nine batch. So I hope all of you all are ready. So we warmly welcome you to our online seminar session. This is the introductory session. This is conducted by our Science Academy Institute. So I am Rihan Rahim, sir, who will be conducting your science lesson. And Miss um, Shuhaina will be conducting one of your math session. And the grade nine math session will be conducted by uh, Arman sir. <clears throat> yes, it is better to uh, mention your full name uh, in the chat, uh, not chat box, in the normal um, contact name list, participant list. Please make uh, sure that you put your full name or else sometimes from the institute, they may remove you. If there are some phone names and unwanted names, they may remove you. So please mention your full name. Okay, then without any uh, further delay, we will move to our session. So today we will be learning an overall session common to both the grades, okay, both the grades, and then we'll move on to the uh, important ones. So when you look at, now we will go for an introduction. Now, most of the students who have come to me for their old lessons, they know the introduction. There are a lot of new students. So as a new student, if we ask a question, what is science? If we ask what is science, some students, they think, ah, oh, what is science? What is science? Okay, science is not just one subject. It is a combination of many things. If you are learning about the stars, if you are learning about the planets, it is coming under astronomy science. If you are learning about the sand, if you are learning about the soil, if you are learning about the soil water, those kind of things, we call it mineralogy type of science. When we learn about the animals, the parts of the animal, okay, you know there are some doctors wet doctors, they cut the animals, they research about the animals, they do medicine towards the animals. So that is coming under zoology science. There are some scientists who are doing experiment with plants, with flowers, they are day by day, they are doing research. That is coming under botany type of science. So when you learn about the chemicals in the world, there are a lot of chemicals, there are atoms, there are carbon particles. When you learn about that, it is coming under chemistry. So like that, science is a big, vast field. It contains a lot of subjects inside it. Okay, a lot of subjects inside it. Then our next question is, then what are the subjects? What are the branches in science? Science has more than 100 branches. Can we learn all the 100? No, we can't learn all the 100. So tell me, in our local syllabus, how many main branches are there? Three. Three. Thank you for the students who answered it. So we have chemistry, physics and biology. Now, until you go to grade nine, they won't directly tell you what is chemistry, what is physics, what is biology. Okay, they won't tell you. They will just give because they think students will get confused. But I know, I know the students who are talented, they won't get confused. It is a good thing. Now, normally when I am teaching a lesson, I will teach you, especially when you are teaching grade six, seven, eight. Normally I tell the students, this is biology lesson. This is chemistry lesson. This is physics lesson. Is it important for your O level or is it not important for your O level? I have done that. Okay. Then only, the students will give more importance. There are some lessons which you should give little bit importance. 
there are some lessons you have to give very much importance because that is coming for your O level. Okay, because you all are going to face your O level in another two, three years. The current grade nine, 2024, you're going to face your A level. The new grade seven in 2025, you're going to sit your O level. So like that, your O levels are little by little coming closer. Now my target in school, they will talk at the term test marks and that and this. But sometimes term test is totally different. Your main O level exam is totally different. So my main target is the biggest target. Okay, so I will, whenever I am teaching, I will tell you this is important for your O levels. This is not important for your O levels. Like that, I will be making it easy for y'all. Okay, so when we look at the branches of science, everyone know that the three main branches is biology, chemistry, and physics. All of y'all know that. The ones who don't know, okay, uh, please raise the hand. The students who are new to my class to do, today only you have come to one of my class. Please raise the hand. There is a raise hand option in Zoom. Okay, there are some new students. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, no problem. So the ones who don't know the main branches, please write it down because when you're going for your O level, this is very important. Okay, this is very important. So today we will be giving more importance to biology lesson because in grade eight and in grade nine, in grade eight and in grade nine, the first lessons, the first lesson, both are same. Okay, grade eight and grade nine, first lesson is related to microorganism. In grade eight, we have the introduction to microorganism. In grade nine, we have the application of microorganism. So microorganisms are coming under biology topic. Okay, so we will discuss little bit more about biology. Why we give more importance to biology. Sometimes when you do get good marks in biology, your parents will tell, ah, this fellow can become a doctor. Even if you have a doctor, like that the parents say no why doctor and biology is related because when we look at the meaning of biology okay i think my students know the answer do you know the meaning of biology yes sir yes what is it bio means life logic means study very good Bio means life, logy means study. So biology means studying about the life or living things. Bio means life, logy means study. So biology means the study of life and life related things. So human, it is a life. So when you study about the human body, now uh, I just want to know how many of you like to become doctors from small days, you want to become doctor, you want to put the stethoscope, please raise the hand, we'll see. Yeah, mashallah, good. A lot of doctors, okay, very good. I pray that all of you all one day become very good doctors and serve the community and help the people to recover from the diseases. Okay, so yeah, good. So when you go to a doctor, okay, now when you see how the doctor is speaking, the knowledge which he has, you get, Mara, you like to become a doctor, no? Why do they have so much of knowledge? They study deeply about biology. They study about the life. The life is in the human. So we say we have to study about each and every part of the human. If you want to become a doctor, we have to study a lot. Okay, it's not hard, but it's, Slowly, slowly you have to study. So now only you have to put the basement. Okay, now only foundation. Now only you have to like biology lessons. You have to do well in science. You have to get good marks. After that, you can pass your O levels and get good results and then do A levels, biology. And in that, if you get a good results, you can go to the Sri Lankan government university. That is the best. Columbia University, Peradeniya University, Jaffna University, like that we have around 17 universities. In all that we have medical, around 15 we have medical faculties. If you go to Columbia University, you can go to Columbia General Hospital as a doctor. 
if you go to uh, jayawardenapura university you can come to kalubovila hospital as a doctor like that lot of things are there <clears throat> so you are now that doctor dream now only you have to work for it okay now only it's the time that you have to work for it if you can't just wait and become a doctor okay not only doctor all the other things if you want to become marine biology some students they like to learn about the fish they like to swim in the sea they like to learn about the coral reefs marine biologists are there even engineers now you have to start your maths work okay you might think our ah, engineer needs only maths accountant needs maths and accounting no 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 even engineer needs chemistry and physics those are part of those are part of science okay so science is a deep thing okay so that's why i want to first give a um, introduction and i want you to like the science lesson because first when i ask now my previous badges i go to lot of schools because i am a doctor i am a counselor i go to lot of schools the first thing when i go to school i ask okay i ask how many of you all hate science then they get a shock why is this person asking how many of you all hate science then slowly slowly little by little many students will put the hands up then only i will ask then i will tell them the reason why they hate science the main reason to hate science is i'll tell you reason don't get angry with me okay some teachers are not teaching the science lesson properly do you agree with me they are just reading okay science lesson you can't learn by reading okay science someone has to explain there is a big difference between reading and explaining okay that is the problem that is a problem in schools some teachers they think reading is explaining no reading you also can do no your mother also can do your father also can do reading everyone can do but the explanation is the main thing okay so as a medical student now i am also a student okay i lifelong i am a student that is my intention until i die i will be studying something okay that is my passion and while studying i like to teach the students okay i will tell you some of my story why i am teaching even my wife she is a doctor she is also teaching okay why we like to teach and uh, our medicines and all we are doing that also but we like to teach because it's like a passion because what we learn we like to share with the others in a special method okay in in our uh, today seminar you will be able to understand that okay hari uh, so when we study about life we mainly study about the human life okay human life is in the human body so we have to study about the human body in the human body there are organs organ systems there are tissues there are cells cell is the smallest living thing from cell it becomes tissues then tissue becomes organ organ become organ system and then finally we become one full human we have to study a lot of things but it's very very interesting how a small baby is growing okay now you go and look at yourself in the mirror you all are big children okay uh, maybe some uh, uh, by now uh, yeah 13 years 14 years okay so how were you when you were zero years just think and see everyone was like a dot how did that dot become multiply into your big size okay everything is explained in biology so we will learn slowly slowly but steadily we will learn okay so now we said no biology is life and that and this now if i ask you a question if i ask you a question what is life how are you going to explain just think i will give you one minute what is life just think and wait in your mind what is life what is life what is life like that you think okay some students have sent a message life is the time period from birth to death yes that is also a good answer but that is the lifetime there is something inside us known as life everyone agrees no because suddenly someone is dead okay suddenly someone is dead then his organs are there now some students are saying heart is the life now in a dead body heart is there but why isn't the heart working 
okay can you understand now we are thinking some students are thinking our brain is our life okay that means in a living person brain will be there dead person no brain no no if you cut the dead person and see brain is there i have cut the dead person okay when you go to medical college first two three years you have to cut the dead bodies okay when you come to grade 10 and 11 i, I will show some videos okay related to that because now some are scared no so when you cut the dead body the brain is there the eyes are there the heart is there the lungs is there the kidneys are there the digest everything is there but what is not there life is not there but where is the life no one knows okay so i'll tell you a truth okay i will tell you a truth until now until now no scientist no scientist has given a proper definition for life okay no scientist has given a proper definition for life if you want to understand life we have to learn it from the religion okay only religion will give you a definition for life because scientists they want to see the life if they see the life only they will believe if they touch the life only they will believe they think that life is like an organ no 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 life is a energy we can't see that now current if you have a normal wire and a wire with the current you can't see the current going but if you touch you will get the current shock just because you can't see can you say ah no current no no like that only life also it's a energy when we are born we get that energy when we die that energy is gone but who is giving that energy who is taking that energy who is controlling that energy we don't know so the answers for that we have to find from our religions okay we have to study the religion that's why in garment syllabus religion is compulsory okay in other some countries there is no religion subject in school they don't learn religion in school so they don't know they do whatever they want and they just wait but in sri lanka we have to learn religion we have buddhism we have uh, christianity we have tamils we have muslims so they learn their own religion okay so in religion only the real meaning of life how are we getting the life how is our life taken all that are given then what scientists can't explain that no so they say how can we differentiate living things and non living things okay for example now look at this picture i think i have shown you this picture no when we were doing online classes when we started okay now here look at this person he's walking he's uh, typing in the computer he's sleeping like that on top of him the clock is also working can you understand now suddenly the clock stopped okay now if i remove the battery from the clock the clock will stop do you agree yes yes sir yes, 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 yes sir there is no the battery because when we remove the battery of the clock it will stop like this but suddenly when a person dies he is also stopping his actions are stopping now before that he was nicely sleeping he was running he was eating but suddenly one day they are saying oh, he is dead he is dead then he can't wake up he can't play the computer he can't do anything but same thing if it happens to the clock they will tell ah battery is dead because of that the clock stopped then in the human in the human what stopped now can you compare a clock and a human clock and a human clock was working human was working clock someone removed the battery the clock stopped in the human something happened and he stopped so actually here there is something called the life that life has been taken because of that he is dead when the life is taken breathing stops heart stops Our brain stops working all the organs are stopping to work so all this now it is interesting no now i think you all like science okay now because science will make you think how is this happening what is this happening now when you eat the food what is happening to the food like that you know lot of lot of things science will make us think okay so science is the world's most interesting subject but i don't know why most of the students are hating science i think i think because some teachers are not teaching the science lesson properly they are just reading and all without showing any pictures and photos and animation they are just reading reading 
most of our students are sleeping in the science classes. Okay, so in my classes, it's not like that. Okay, if you're interested, you can learn, no problem, online. There are some students who have got 100 out of 100 by learning online. Okay, so nowadays, this is a new trend, no? After the coronavirus, everyone has got adapted to online teaching and learning. So you all can learn from the very good Colombo teachers, from university students, from university lectures, you all can learn. Maybe you all are in Jaffna, maybe you all are in Gol, maybe you all are in Hambantata, maybe you all are in Kendi, maybe you all are in Kurnagala, so wherever in the country. You know, last year, some students came to me from Japan and Malaysia. Even if you're out of Sri Lanka, even if you're out of Sri Lanka, no problem by these online methods, you can learn. So the ones who are really interested nowadays, there is no problem. There is more and more chances for you to study more better and become very good people in the world. Okay, now you can't complain. When your mother and father, when they were studying, they did not have online facility. They did not have proper schools. They did not have proper teachers. But now the world is so much globalized. If you want from anywhere, you can study and become a big engineer. No problem. You can become that also. If you want to become a doctor, yes, you can study and become a doctor. Okay. So like that, you can do a lot of things. Okay. Then <clears throat> if you take a living thing and non-living thing, okay, you know, living things, they show some character. Okay. They show some movement, they show some character. There are a lot of things, but non-living things, those characters, those things are not there. For example, growth, movement, respiration, like that few things are there. So what are the characters which are differentiating the living things and non-living things? Okay, actually there are 11 characters. When you go to grade 10 and 11, you will study total 11. But for now, you should know about five so please write this down what are the characteristics that differentiate living and non-living things what are the characteristics which differentiate living and non-living things so you can write this so we will discuss about this and then we will go to the next part please write it down i will give one minute Okay, so growth, nutrition, movement, respiration, reproduction. Okay, so all those things can differentiate living and non-living. Like that, a lot of things are there. We will discuss in grade 10 and 11. In, from the picture itself, you can see, you know, living things are growing. Living things are showing movement. Living things are eating. Living things are breathing. Living things are reproducing. So these five, you have to memorize it completely. Okay, you have to memorize completely. So when you look at growth, okay, you know growing. You were a small baby, then you grew like that. You know what is growth. But in the exam, if they ask, can you say uh, growing, growing, growing from baby to big like that? You can't say you have to give a proper definition. So this is the definition. Growth is the increase in size, highest or amount it is called as growth. Okay. It is the increase in the size, highs or amount. So like that small, small things are there. I will be giving it. Okay. All those uh, notes and all those things I will be giving uh, from February uh, the, for the students who are registering. Now, January, we don't know how many students are coming to our classes. From February, we will know. So we will print the tutes and we will send it to you free through the post. Okay, so for the students who are joining our classes, freely the tutes will be sent. And also PDF, this animation also will be sent to you separately. All those are in the website. I will explain about the website. So that is growth. Not only animals, okay, even plants are showing growth. Okay, so here I have put a picture. You can see the plants are growing day by day. They are growing. Then next one is nutrition. Every day we are taking nutrition. We are eating, no? Why do we eat? Because we need energy. Then only we can do the work. 
so that is nutrition okay satisfying the food requirement of an organism is known as okay is known as nutrition okay it is known as the nutrition so all this food which we take they come under nutrition so can you tell me if our nutrition is having proper carbohydrate proper protein proper lipids proper minerals proper vitamins what is that type of a nutrition called balanced diet very good yes so you all have studied in your small grades that is the balanced diet okay i think the ones who did the exam yes the exam we have uh, got the result in our first uh, next week theory classes we will be informing the uh, prize winners okay so grade uh, 7 we did the exam the in the new grade 8 class we will be releasing the result and we will be telling the first three and the gifts will be given to them okay uh, now our classes are online no? so the gift will be sent to your home okay you have to give the address we will be sending the gift and for the grade 9 students who are now going to grade 8 they also did the exam their result also are out next week in our classes in our theory normal theory classes this is special class no seminar no in our normal theory classes we will release the result and we will send that day we will be sending the uh, gifts to those students home okay so uh, the ones who are coming to our normal classes you all will be continuing no so then you will be able to see who are the main three winners and the first 10 marks i will be displaying okay so congratulations the ones who got good marks so be ready for the results then the next one do plants eat food okay obviously you know the answer no then how can they get energy how can they get nutrition do you know any process by which the plants are getting their nutrients and their energy photosynthesis by photosynthesis okay so many students gave the correct answer by photosynthesis okay by photosynthesis okay some students they don't know actually they don't know what is photosynthesis don't worry today i am giving a introduction no that's why i told you introduction session is very important you should get a overall idea after that one by one one by one we will study okay then next one is movement now you can see this is movement moving one part of the body and the next one is moving from one place to another place that is known as locomotion okay one man is moving from one place to another place that is locomotion if you are moving a part of the body that is movement this movement and locomotion is done by many methods now if you take animals some are walking some are hopping and some are crawling and going okay so you can understand no these are the walking or hopping movements there are some other animals which are using wings and they are flying birds and insects birds and insects some insects and most of the birds they are using their wings and they are nicely flying then when we take some other fish animals which live in the water they have the fins they have the tail therefore what is their movement method swimming they are swimming and going can you understand but now when you see with the pictures you will get more good understanding okay that is the advantage of online class because in physical class i can't bring a fish and show you no can i bring a kangaroo and a lion and show no but in online class we can put all the pictures and everything and show it clearly to the clearly to the students and there are some special organisms those are known as unicellular organism one example is amoeba now see amoeba is moving like this okay in the next class we will be discussing more about amoeba because amoeba is coming under micro organism your first lesson okay so when you look at all these categories okay so we can understand the difference between living and non living out of the living there are three main categories can you all tell me what are the three main categories of living organisms plants and animals and humans animals and human beings plants okay very good the plants the animals and the microorganisms so you all know about plants okay one by one i will show you know the plants everyone has seen plants but we have to study a lot of lot about plant 
in your grade six and seven, you have studied the diversity of plant, you have studied the diversity of the leaves, diversity of the branches, diversity of the roots. Can you all remember? I don't know. Okay, even if you have forgot, no problem. From the new grade, from today, study properly. Okay, study properly. Maybe until now you did not get a good teacher, you did not understand some things, but from now, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. I will be giving my maximum with the pictures, animation, everything. Only thing you have to study. You have to do those things properly. Okay, and keep that in mind. The next one is animals. So that also we know. We know about Celantareta, you have studied about Annelida, Mollusca, Arthropoda, Echinodermata. Then you have studied about the uh, Fiskies, that is the fish, the amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals, like that. Lot of things you have studied in the small grades. Okay, in again in grade eight, grade nine and ten, you will be learning some more deeply. But the special thing what you learn in grade nine is microorganism. Okay, the microorganism. So this is a very special topic. Okay, in small grades, they have just given you the topic microorganism. But in grade eight and nine, you all are going to learn deeply about microorganism. So can you tell me what is this microorganism? Micro, what is this micro microorganism? Sir, we can't see. Uh, Okay, very good. Most of the students, they told the, yeah, they told the correct answer, but because of some students' uh, uh, connection problem, I couldn't hear properly. No problem. Okay. The microorganisms are unicellular or multicellular organisms, which cannot be clearly seen with our naked eye. From our eye, we can't clearly, okay, we can't clearly see that those ones are microorganisms, but still they are living. Now, maybe inside your hand, inside your nails, on your laptop, on your phone, on your pen, there can be hundreds and hundreds of microorganisms, but we can't see them. But to see that microorganism, we have to use one equipment. What is that equipment? Microscope. Microscope. Very good. We have to use the microscope to see the microorganism. All that I will later, we will show the picture of the microscope. We will show the picture of microorganism. All that we will study. Okay, then today I'm giving a small uh, like introduction of microorganism. There are uh, four main types of microorganism. Uh, sorry, five main types. Okay, one is bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoa. Who is the last one? That is one of the most important one nowadays. Virus. 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 Very good. Virus. Okay, very good. Someone told the answer. Virus. Okay, that is only making the full world scared nowadays. Coronavirus, COVID-19, we are saying, we are saying Delta variant, Omicron variant, like that. We have a lot of names. So even virus, it is coming under microorganism. So bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoa, and virus. Can you write these five names? Put a topic microorganism and write these things. I will send you the tute, no problem, but you have to write certain things. Please write it down. Okay, no? Good. Uh, like, uh, once you join our classes, we will be sending the tutes. Okay, from December end itself, we will be sending the tutes. Once everyone is confirmed. So, in that tutes, okay, uh, in, in that we will be learning about, uh, sorry, in that tutes, I will be giving the pictures and I will give, be giving some spaces. You have to fill it. And in every tute, at the end, there will be a small quiz paper. You have to do that quiz paper and you have to upload the photo like that. I have a nice uh, thing for our online classes. And once a month, uh, hereafter, I'm hoping to have a uh, online exam. Okay, now recently we had our online exam. No, that was the year-end exam. 
but now we have the website no so every month we can have then we can see the progress or else uh, just the students will be studying 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 but finally when they go to the exam they don't know anything so every month i'm hoping to have small small unit exams so all that will be very interesting very fun so only thing is you have to work properly okay work according to our plan for science and maths don't get scared we have good teachers okay you can uh, learn from us without any problem or without any like uh, some some students they go to class but they can't understand already you go to school because you can't understand that only you are going to extra class if you can't understand extra class then no use of going no then no use of going therefore in my classes if you are coming i will give the good explanation and i will make you understand so it is up to you whether to come or not that is your uh, wish um so you can speak to your parents and decide that then one student is asking mushroom is coming under what category does anyone know mushroom is coming under what of one of this category fungi okay okay some people say fungi some people say fungi no problem fungi or fungi both are correct so it is coming under fungi then you will tell me sir we can see the mushroom no yes some of the fungi are uh, can be seen by the naked eye some can't that some only we are calling microorganism okay we that few of that only we are calling microorganism okay so one by one superb topic about bacteria about fungi about algae about protozoa about virus everything is there today i selected little bit about this person who is this person in the picture corona ah corona virus omicron virus like that okay so everyone knows that even i think some small children in your home when you show the photo they know that okay there are very small children okay recently they have not seen rambutan in their life okay recently when when we went and gave rambutan those people are not eating rambutan then i asked why then they are thinking no no this is only corona virus okay so they think now because in the tv they are showing this virus picture picture they think rambutan is that corona virus okay but corona virus is very small not tiny rambutan you can eat no problem just because it looks like corona virus it's not corona virus okay some students are seeing the rambutan and saying corona virus corona virus okay so virus also falls under microorganism category but the problem with virus is we can't consider it is living or non living it is between living and non living because it is not growing okay so like that lot of things are there we will learn what is the character living and non living character uh okay like that we will learn then the harmful effects of virus by now you all know no the harmful effects of virus one is it causes diseases to animals and humans so we are all experiencing that okay we have many many viruses many viruses which cause diseases dengue you all know we call dengue dengue from the mosquito it is coming actually mosquito is not causing dengue the virus which is inside the mosquito is only causing dengue the mosquito is just carrying the virus okay so dengue virus and also corona virus we can't forget him no he only made everything change one year holiday for y'all more than one year one and a half year holiday all online classes okay corona virus other one influenza virus y'all are getting common cold we call to uh, the kassa or hembirisava kadumal kachal that is by influenza virus we call it flu okay then there is another virus which was there in the african country ebola virus so like that lot of viruses are there okay we will learn one by one and not only animals and human the virus can cause diseases to plant okay there are many plant diseases okay many plant diseases can destroy bacteria which are which may be helpful so there are some viruses which will be destroying the bacteria some bacteria are good tell me one of the uses of bacteria anyone know any uses of bacteria sir to give me antibiotics for plants that's all okay very good everyone knows a lot of things okay one is to make dairy products yogurt curd you need bacteria you will wonder what is this we need bacteria yes to make antibiotics to make medicine to make uh, some uh, lot of things okay 
uh, we will learn one by one, one by one, biogas, coir wire, everything. Some useful bacteria are there. This virus, they will go and kill the useful, useful virus. Okay, they will go and kill the useful virus. Uh, sorry, useful bacteria. That is also a problem. And also this virus can be used as a biological weapon. You know, before people were fighting with the sword. First, they were fighting with sticks. Olden days. After that, they started fighting with the knife and the sword. After that, they invented the guns. They were shooting each other. After that, during World War One and Two, they invented the atom bomb. But now, what is the most powerful weapon? The virus. Okay. By sending a virus, they can kill one full country. Can you understand it? Okay. So we have to be very careful. So these are the examples of virus. Influenza virus. Uh, these are the diseases. Common cold, dengue, AIDS, COVID-19 disease. This is the name of the disease. So who's the virus responsible for this disease? Coronavirus. AIDS. Who's responsible for AIDS? HIV virus. Who's responsible for dengue? Dengue virus. Here that picture is not given, no? Yeah. Influenza. Influenza virus. So like that, some diseases and their related viruses, the shape, structure, everything is given. Okay. The ones who are in the group, don't worry. I will be sending uh, this picture in the group or else you can download it from our website. I will give a small introduction about our website. Okay. Uh, yeah. So all those things are there. Then the other thing you want to know is virus cannot move from one place to another place on its own. Remember always virus can't move from one place to another. So don't help the virus spread by our activities. That's why they are telling us to stay at home. No, now these, these days, everyone are going trip. Okay. But they are from the government. What are they telling? What are the doctors saying? Don't go out. Don't mix with too much people because still the coronavirus is there. Yesterday they told now again, Omicron virus is there. So we have to be careful. If we are not careful, again, they will close the schools. Again, they will close all the classes. Again, they will close all the shops. Then your fathers won't go to work. They will be at home. You can't go to school. You will be at home. Again, school teachers will start online classes. Again, it will be a problem. Okay. So we are the ones who have to take necessary precautions. If we are going out, we have to put the mask. We have to sanitize our hands. We have to be very careful. Okay. We have to be very careful related to that. Okay. So that's why now I did not start the physical classes because we don't know when one student come to class, maybe I have hundred students. If one student come with the coronavirus, what will happen? All the hundred students will get, I also will get because of that. These days we are not having on uh, physical classes still. It's not hundred percent safe. Okay, so if virus is not moving place to place, then how it is spreading? That's why I'm telling from people to people. Okay, if I am having coronavirus in my body, coronavirus is there. No, in my nose, coronavirus is there. If I go closer to someone and breathe out in my in when breathing out, air is going. No, in that air, coronavirus will be there. If another person breathe in like that, uh, my coronavirus will go into his body. Then he will also get corona. Like that, only corona is spreading. Okay, so that's why the main reason I am not keeping physical classes because I want to see the country situation because I am in the medical field. We know still it's not 100% safe. Okay, but even if you go to school or physical classes, be careful, take maximum precaution. But science, you don't need to worry from your home online. If you are joining our classes until the end through online, you can learn. Okay, so now some students are asking, sir, how to join, how to join. Before that, I will tell. Now, just I explained about biology only then we have to explain about chemistry we have to explain about physics we have so much interesting things what do you think about science is it interesting or is it boring i want your comments it is, interesting. Interesting. Yes, it is mostly interesting yes, sir. subjects sir. About interesting okay thank you for your comments because everyone is speaking very hard to hear but for most of the people, it is interesting. If it is boring, now itself you will have left and gone, no? Okay? Because this is the most interesting subject. You're learning about the animals, the human, the plants, the virus, virus, uh, everything. And later you will be learning about the computer, computer parts, the circuits. That is also superb. In chemistry, you, learn, you will be learning about acids, bases. A lot of things are there. Okay, interesting things are there. So be ready to go on a superb science journey with our science academy. So if you want to join our classes, 
okay we are totally online so wherever you are no problem from your home under the guidance of your parents okay the parents who are listening you all also have to support the students when they are coming to online classes okay so in under your parents guidance from home you can study so to join our classes before we used to uh, have uh, this whatsapp method and all now we are using the website method so before going to the class things i want to give a small introduction about me some students are asking sir we have not seen you that and this okay my name is rihan rahim i am from the unani medical college okay i am a medical student uh, from the institute of indigenous medicine i am learning herbal medicine because i like herbal medicine i am learning about the herbal medicine you have you know no ayurveda medicine unani medicine siddha medicine that is my field um and i have done lot of uh, counseling courses um psychology courses all those things um i am in the colombo university and i am a old boy of dsn and at college colombo okay so from born from the day i am born i am from colombo so i know all the people who are doing the papers and all those things so you can get more benefit if you join our classes related to science and maths okay we have a youtube channel also later i will give the youtube channel name in that also we have uploaded some of the videos you can go and watch the videos okay yes i am from dehiwala i am from dehiwala colombo my physical classes are in dehiwala but now we have stopped the physical classes currently because of the uh, corona situation in future we may start but online we will continue okay not like the other classes when they start physical they will stop the corona not like that okay i will be continuing online until your o level okay so why i started this science i told you me and my wife we like science okay my wife is teaching for grade 6 science i am teaching 7 8 9 10 11 uh, and also we are teaching some outside students also lot of things because okay from small days i had a liking towards science and especially after i went to my uh, university now this is a dead body don't get scared okay no not this okay this is a living person okay we are doing a hijama treatment okay this is a dead body okay that face i don't want to show okay so we are cutting the dead bodies every day now they are we are looking at the organs okay so for me science day to day part and part parcel of my life i don't need to study and teach you all because already we are studying in the campus we are looking at all those things so that's why most of the students are telling when i am teaching they can see like they can see all the things in the mind so it is easy for them to understand that is because main reason is now we cut the animals now you see the small intestine of the animal the lungs of the animal okay some other teachers they don't know this because they don't go to medical college no so they don't know this so sometimes they may it may be hard for them to teach some teachers are they are very good but for me naturally okay these things are i like it so i teach it very happily so the students also learn it happily without any problem okay without any problem they are also learning i am also teaching so it's a very interesting thing but some teachers they scold the students scold 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 and teach they also don't like the subject they make the students also hate the subject then it becomes a big problem okay so therefore therefore i am telling you if some now my passion is science if your passion is science when you come to our class you can go a good distance okay you can become a big uh, good person or big person in life okay so some are saying sir we are scared of uh, blood can we become doctors don't worry even my wife okay initially she was scared of blood if if someone comes with a wound bleeding she made faint and fall but now we are doing treatment to people treatment 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 now we are not scared of blood we are not even scared of dead body we, uh, alone we i can go and cut one dead body and take all the parts and see everything and check what is wrong okay so like that we can do okay when we are doing surgery so sometimes you i think you all have heard about hijama when doing hijama and all we cut and take the bad blood out okay so that is an all superb but when you learn and go develop only everything will become interesting and superb now it will be sometimes hard ayo i can't become a doctor i can't do that i can't do this but if you try okay if you try and if you get interested in the subject automatically you will learn everything happily and with fun okay so learn science with fun then it is easy okay then uh, so i just uh, i think my students have seen have you all seen a real brain 
ஒரு <laughs> 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 okay only one video i will show the others and all when we do those lessons i will show it to you all okay this is for our grade 11 students we have to learn about the organs so without seeing the organs it was very hard for them then i went and took a brain and then i cut and i showed them the video now they can understand uh, the brain very well so you all also you got a chance you can see this Can you all see the brain? I think you all can see, no? Okay, this now I have cut the brain. This is the inside part of the brain. What is this gray color? What is this white color? Everything has names. You have to study in grade eleven. Okay, don't worry. This is not a human brain. Don't get scared. This is animal brain. okay so don't get scared human brain is also there i will show that when you come to o level okay so small video okay these are only our practical we do real practical okay now there are some small 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 practicals with the uh, acid base practical magnet practical that is an all baba practicals okay electricity practicals i will show all those when we come to the lessons but we have real practicals with real human organs and all we do the practicals so don't need to get scared okay when you come to our classes you can learn a lot of new things and okay so some parents were asking sir uh, can you explain about your uh, qualification so we will be more like they will be more safe because nowadays there are a lot of uh, uh, false teachers online no there are some teachers they have not even done o level they have not even done a level for lies they are taking the money from the students okay so my uh, origin is i am from dehiwala uh, until o level i studied at international school Tijas International School, uh, Mount Lebanon, and in A level I went to DS in another college, Colombo. So I think you all know, no DS. Uh, and then in 2014-15, I entered the Colombo University for the Unani Medical Faculty. So I have a diploma in herbal uh, drugs, uh, herbal medicine, manufacturing, uh, phys uh, psychology, and counselling. And also I was a visiting lecturer at Fath Academy Dehiwala. Uh, and in a grand pass, there is an institute. Uh, I was doing. Uh, physical classes there dehiwal aspa institute maradana kolonnava around five places we were doing the physical classes but now i have stopped all the physical classes and now i am only doing online classes okay because uh, for me also i wanted some relax because i can't go to all the five uh, institutes now i am giving more importance to our medicine because i am uh, finding some new medicines my research is going on so like that lot of things are there so because of that and because of the corona virus everything now only online okay so you can uh, learn through online no problem okay i have seen students are getting good results from online okay so i am doing a lot of research okay uh, related to medicine uh, student psychology all those things in future when we come to the class we can discuss one day itself we can discuss everything no okay and i have a lot of nice stories to tell you regarding the university all those things you will be more and more interested about a uh, medicine field so i have been doing uh, special seminars for the past 5 years uh, in uh, science academy dehiwala that is my institute aspa institute dehiwala fath academy dehiwala zahira college mavanalla every year i go there and do the seminar only english medium i don't do sinhala or tamil actually i really don't know deep sinhala deep tamil uh, so i do because i studied in international school no so i do only english medium in science center nayavela i have been doing some seminars and also in jilan central college panadura i think some students also they are from that school and also alex international uh, from colombo and wisdom college panadura 
um, but now everything is online so i'm not going for the seminars also uh, some schools they called but this year i don't like to go okay um, so then uh, how to join our online classes okay so don't worry you can do two things okay first you can visit our website www.scienceacademycolombo.com okay you can visit that website Or else you can send me a WhatsApp message, not double seven eight two eight three triple six. Write this number and give. This is my number. Okay, this is my number. Uh, you have to register through website. But if you have any problems, you can contact this number and clarify it. I will do the help to help needed to you. So you can go to this website, scienceacademycolombo.com. Okay. So I just want to ask. Okay, how many grade eight students? New grade eight. Please raise the hand. new grade 8 only okay around uh, 40 50 students are there no new grade 8 uh, i think more than that because around 200 students are there no total anyways uh, around 50 no okay good then the other 150 are grade 9s no so i will teach for both Uh, i will uh, show the uh, lesson for both okay uh, so you can go to this website later i will send the website link also uh, if you if you are not there in our whatsapp groups we have some whatsapp group grade 9 group grade 8 group grade 7 group if you are not there you put a whatsapp message and keep i will save your number and i will add you to the group but joining our classes okay joining our classes will be through the website and now in some schools there is a problem they are starting in march okay okay that is uh, in some schools but mostly all the international schools and some government big schools they have completed the lesson and they are going to the new grade from january so i will be going according to that plan no problem you all can join even if your school is starting in march no problem you can learn a lot of things before the school do that you can learn and keep okay so that will be a big advantage you can get highest marks in your class normally my students are the students now for me there are many students from many schools no if i take the gray if they take the class mostly the one who gets the highest is my student most of the schools it's like that okay so i want you all also to maintain that and go okay in colombo no it's like that so i want you all also to get the highest marks in your class my student should be the highest like that i train the students okay so when you go to our website this is our website okay in that there is a register there is login okay listen to this carefully parents also listen to this because for the uh, grade 8 i think parents will have to help okay first go to register first you have to come to a institute and register no like that you have to go to the website uh, and register fees is very simple okay for science we are just charging 800 rupees per month 200 per class okay so that's a very simple rate i think in colombo itself our classes is the cheap classes very very uh, less expensive because i have lot of students no and also i am a doctor so i don't need that much money but, uh, okay so i have reduced the fees and kept and also we are giving special discount to the students whose parents father or mother is passed away if any of the students are like that you can contact me personally we are giving special discounts to those students okay so first thing listen carefully when you go to our website you have to click register then you will get a page like this then in that you have to put the real details proper details your first name your father's name your date of birth gender which district which grade mobile number parents mobile number and you have to have a email address okay or your parents email address and then you put a password don't tell the password to anyone maybe the password is your mother's name father's name phone number something which you won't forget or else one day you will put next day you will forget you write and keep it in a secret place you have to put email address okay everyone i think you have a email address no or your parents will have a email address put that email address and you put any password a new password and uh, your home address put it properly because in future if you are sending the tut it will come to that address can you understand that part good yeah you can register today itself no problem because registration is free okay after registration after clicking this uh, putting all the details and putting okay you will get two messages one is to your phone 
now you put a phone number no to that phone number you will get one sms verification code and email verification code you have to check the inbox of your email or spam message two places it will come inbox or spam message okay check the spam message it will be there okay check the spam message some students they have put uh, email is not coming in the spam message it is there okay so two verification will code will come now you are registered okay first step is done second step now go to the website okay now some students don't know what is spam message below the inbox now this like this no your email will be there this is inbox the new messages will come to this first check this in this if it is not there below inbox there will be more press the more then you will get spam message s p a m in that spam message you will get the verification code a message will be there in that a verification code will be there okay no that is registering method now come and press login first you press re register now press login then you have to enter the in already entered email address already entered password the sms number which came you have to put that sms verification code and email verification code once you do that you are registered under science academy colombo and we will have we will have you will have a profile okay next time you come to our website you have your own profile if you want you can even put your photo okay it's like facebook profile others can see okay only you can see your profile will be there okay so after that you can do the payment okay after that you can do the payment uh wait i will show about the payment and all those things some students are asking the fees okay grade 8 okay grade 8 we are having our classes on saturday 9:30 yeah 9:30 to 11 okay sometimes it will go until 11:30 also first we'll keep until 11 so 800 per month the grade 8 classes will be conducted by me okay yeah grade 8 we have maths also okay then i will go to the website and show okay give me one minute i will go to the website and show then you will be more clear about it Yeah, grade nine timetable. I will tell. Don't worry. So this is our website. Can you see? Here the classes are there. Grade six classes, grade seven classes, grade eight classes. Grade eight we have science and maths. Grade nine science and maths. So grade eight is Saturday nine thirty. Grade nine is Saturday morning eight a.m. Okay, Saturday morning eight o'clock. Grade nine nine thirty we have grade eight. Maths is on Sunday. Sunday eight thirty grade eight, and Sunday eight o'clock we have grade nine. Two teachers are doing. Grade nine is done by Arman Shalik sir. He is from University of Jayawardenepura. Um, grade eight will be done by uh, Shuhaina Miss. She is from Kalamba University. She is my wife. She will be conducting the grade a seven eight maths. Okay, so this is our fixed timing. if you can't come to that timing no problem only for science the recording will be uploaded maths recording we won't put but science if you can't come on that time no problem you can register and keep every week you will be getting the recording within one week you have to see so grade 10 11 and all we have classes okay all that we have classes i me and arman sir will be doing uh, i will be doing science and arman sir will be doing maths you all don't need that no next year i will tell you about that for now you need grade 9 uh grade 8 all those things okay now see <clears throat> i have already registered now i am putting login sms verification code and all i have already put so now when i log in can you see now this is my profile this is my profile picture my name like i have also registered like a student can you see this uh so when i go to classes i can go to classes now let's say grade 7 i want to join grade 7 maths uh, science i am clicking 
साइंस then all the lessons will be shown second week third week fourth week i can go to any lesson and add to cart remember add to cart when i press add to cart all the four lessons four one month has four weeks no four lessons will be added now on top there will be a cart can you see this cart when i click the cart okay that is like when you go to supermarket you are taking a cart inside that cart you are putting all the things you want to buy no like that now you have added all the classes you want to join Here, grade seven science, second week, third week, fourth week, fifth week, totally eight hundred rupees. So now you can select the payment method. We have three methods, or mainly two methods. One is if your parents have debit card, credit card, they can put debit card, credit card, and they know how to do it. After that, they have to give some credit card details, the secret numbers, all those things, and then automatically you will get uh, a message, and you will be added. or else this bank deposit because some students don't have this online facility no they can go to a bank we have commercial bank people's bank amana bank or easy cash four methods are there you can go to any bank all the details i have given you can you can deposit the money and bring the receipt okay now below here there is one place called choose file from that you can put the picture of the receipt okay now if the receipt in the computer from the computer you can put the receipt if the receipt is in the phone from the phone you can put the receipt and when you put the receipt and place order you will get the classes okay if you are doing bank payment if you are going to the bank and doing the payment at least one day before the class you have to do the payment because immediately it won't get uh, okay it will take one or two hours but online if you are doing credit card transaction within 1 minute it will get accepted okay within 1 minute it will get accepted and you will get a message before every class you will get a message now the class is going to start then you can come to uh, now see for example if i go to my profile i can see the upcoming classes if i click here it will show view lesson okay under every class if there is a tut that tut will be there if there is a exam paper that exam paper will be there now here see link will be available 15 minutes before the scheduled time okay so 4th of january we are having the class so 15 minutes before the link will be there when you click you can come okay so method will be little bit long but when you get used to it it is very easy okay so like that only all the other students are joining so you all also can join if you need any help no problem you can contact me i will help you once if you do then you will be able to understand it so first thing today itself you register yourself okay register yourself registration is free free no go to our website and register the ones who didn't understand later you go and register will you when you register i will tell you how to do all the payments and all those things now in future most of the classes they are doing this method only online method okay so let's leave the website if you have any doubts you can ask me then i will teach you yeah from next week we are starting so grade 8 uh, science syllabus oh sorry okay grade 8 science syllabus we have 15 lessons okay we have 15 lessons uh, what is our plan normally around 1 to 5 or 1 to 6 first five or first six lesson will be covered for the first term okay will be covered for the first term so in april before uh, in the first or second week of april we will finish this and we will have the first term exam meanwhile after every unit you will get a small exam paper unit wise exam then one totally 15 exams plus term exam 16 17 totally 18 exams will be there for you all okay small 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 papers and three main exams so i have already planned okay so first term lessons we have planned second term lessons we have planned and third term lessons we have planned so until from january to april we will cover the first term lessons okay first term lessons we will cover and uh, this is the first term plan five lessons i have put sometimes sixth lesson also we will do if we have time we will do the sixth extra lesson also so from uh, animal classification onwards from the second lesson onwards you will get a t 
tute to your home okay you will get a tute to your home and then i will talk about mats mats will be done by miss shuhaina riyabdin uh, her fees will be 500 per month for science 800 for mats 500 per month mats will be held on sunday so saturday science sunday mats okay so tomorrow we will have a free class the ones who want the uh, password and link uh, you inform us we will uh, send it to you so tomorrow there will be a free class you can come to that and after that in the same method through our website you can uh, buy the classes and every week you can come to the classes so maths and science no problem we can be covered in our classes and uh, so miss will be telling about the maths uh, so today we don't have time so she will be explaining what happened one minute okay uh yeah sorry i got muted okay miss also has a plan okay she will be explaining that plan next week or uh, not next week tomorrow tomorrow we will have the first introduction free seminar for maths she will be explaining what is our pattern uh, how are we going to do the maths lesson science now you understood no my pattern so uh, miss will be explaining uh, the maths pattern tomorrow uh, the seminar will be held free seminar uh, yeah So separately for grade eight, separately for grade nine. Okay, only hundred participants will be allowed. Okay, so you can send a message and register now itself. Uh, yeah, for second term, all these things are there. Grade uh, nine, don't leave. I have a message for y'all. And third term, these are the lessons. All that will be covered. She will be explaining about that. The grade nine, grade nine, Saturday morning, eight to nine nine thirty. Okay, the fees is eight hundred per month. it will be conducted by me okay so in grade 9 we have these lessons oh totally 19 lessons okay grade 9 totally 19 lessons okay not like the grade 8 little bit hard grade 19 lessons so we have to cover cover around seven lessons for the first term then another seven for the second term and the remaining few for the third term so here also after every unit you will get a small paper and after every term you will get a main paper all will be online papers okay so first lesson will be application of microorganism even for grade 8 the introduction to microorganism that's why today i gave you a small explanation about microorganism about the virus okay so that continuation from next week we will be doing okay so i think now you are clear about the introduction about our class class plan and how to join our classes and grade 9 classes okay this is the first term plan for seven lessons application of microorganism i and the ear it is superb i will take the real i i will cut it i will show it to you all uh, and the ear we don't cut and show we have the photos everything will be showing then nature and properties of matter basic concept with forces pressure human circulatory system and plant growth substances that is the plant hormones superb lessons we will learn it in a superb way in our online classes grade 9 maths every sunday saturday science sunday maths okay every sunday morning 8 to 9:30 you all will be having the maths classes it will be conducted by arman shalik sir he is from university of sri jayawardenapura uh, sri jayawardenapura he is maths maths special uh, he is doing physical science bsc degree so tomorrow he will be having a introduction session so the grade 9s can come to him 
uh, at morning 8 to 9 30 um, i will send you the link you send me a message i will send sir's link ah yeah yeah here this is sir's link you can write down the meeting id and passport tomorrow grade 9 maths by arman shalik sir okay by arman shalik sir first class is free you can come so please write it down the meeting id and the passcode grade 8 meeting id and passcode i will send okay not this one different one because sir will be doing it from his zoom package so this is for the grade 9 so grade 8 don't worry science will be done by me maths will be done by miss grade 9 maths will be science will be done by me and maths will be done by arman sir so we have a good panel okay we don't want to put unwanted teachers we have selected all university qualified teachers then finally what are the benefits of our online class you can study from anywhere without missing any lessons even if you miss any science lesson we will be sending the recording okay only for science then you can watch it again okay no need to miss class due to illness from home you can study from hospital you can study even when you are in a journey you can put the online classes and you can study even if you are in a trip no problem okay last last week and all students were going on trip they were listening to our classes also okay after class finish they will enjoy okay so this is a good opportunity you can study under the guidance and supervision of your parents you don't need to travel to classes okay traveling time traveling cost all that will be saved so and it is safe and secure and will continue until your o level okay so the best explanation will be given everything will be given only thing you have to sit and study it properly okay so for this parent support is also needed um, if they have the phone they can use the phone if they have the uh, laptop they can use the laptop so all the other things you can do the teaching part the tutor part all those things we will do so you can go on a superb science journey and max journey if you are interested and also the benefits of our classes we will have a complete explanation of the theory, not reading. Huh? We are not reading full explanation with the needed places. If the practical is needed, we will do the practical and show. So we have a student friendly approach with guidance and counseling. We always motivate the students. I never put the students down. I will never say, ah, you can't do it. I won't scold the students, but you have to do the lessons properly. And also we will give some easy shortcut methods to memorize and learn easy. In our theory classes, we will be doing that. And we will have quick revisions and we will give exam tips. Every unit after every unit, we'll be doing small, small, small exams. No? So in that exams, I will be giving some tips how to do the exam, how to do it quickly, how to save the time. And unit exam for each and every unit will be given PDF notes for every unit. And also now printed notes also will be sent from February, printed notes will be there. And also Colombo district papers. I have, I'm from Colombo, so I can collect all the Colombo district papers. And when your exams are near, we will be discussing mainly for grade nines and uh, grade eight and nine, we will be doing that. And all level targeted sessions with student motivation, we will be giving a lot of motivation to student, even Arman Shah, okay, he will also be giving a lot of motivation and you can get motivated and study well and achieve more. So our main target for grade eight, nines is to get the highest marks, okay? You have to target the highest marks in your term test. But when you come to grade 10 and 11, don't target the school term test, target your O level, target A in your O level. Now your target should be highest marks in your term test, school term test. You have to show the colors in the school. Okay, whatever you learn here, you have to show the colors in the, in the school. Okay, so yeah, can we share the grade eight Mats in our status. Yes, yes, no problem. You can share it. So one, if you get the good term test marks or if you get good O level results, your parents will be proud of you and your teachers. So make your teachers proud of you. Make your parents proud of you. Only gift which you can give your parents now is good results. So try to get the good results and try to make your parents happy and your teachers happy and get the best in your education. Okay. So if you get educated, if your education is good, your future also most probably it will be good and you can go for a very good target in life. 
okay so this is the beginning of your life journey so do it very well then the rest will be easy and you can lead a happy life okay then students uh, this is our timetable uh, you can share this i will be sending it in the group this is our normal timetable so saturday morning 8 am grade 9 science sunday morning 8 am grade 9 maths saturday 9:30 grade 8 science sunday 8:30 grade 8 maths okay no so i hope it is clear if your brothers are there younger brothers are there in grade 6 and 7 at 10:30 with the same link which you join today the same link they also can join i will give a introduction to them about our grade 6 and 7 classes okay then students thank you for joining the session if you have any doubts related to payment registration uh, after 12 o'clock you can contact this number this is my personal number i will guide you how to get registered and how to do the payment okay then students if you want the max link tomorrow's grade 8 max link send me a whatsapp message tomorrow's grade 9 maths link i have already given you if you need it again you send me a message i will send all the needed photos so many students have sent the messages okay for you it is one message but for me i am getting more than 100 messages in the chat box so i can't read everything now so you send a whatsapp message after the class finish after my grade 7 8 session finish 6 7 session finish i will read and i will send you a reply this is my number okay then students i think it's time up thank you for joining the session so i want to see you all next week in our normal theory classes we will be discussing deeply today overall only we saw everything this is this this is this this is this so now i think you have a clear idea about science no so from next week we will we will go deeply into the lesson study it deeply and understand it 100% in the best possible manner so did you all enjoy this uh, introductory session did you gain yes, some knowledge and yes sir yes sir it was amazing dr kala hai ras for teaching us this okay okay welcome welcome students okay so then the thing you can do is you can share about our classes to your friends also okay they also can come and benefit from our classes um, and make sure that you study well and get the best results and make your parents and teachers proud of you okay then students we will end the session the ones who need any assistance or any any doubts to be cleared you can send a message to my whatsapp number whenever i, I get time i will explain that okay then uh, one minute okay then students thank you for joining the session so some of the students they wanted to see me i think this is the first time they are seeing um, me in classes so i will be your science teacher so don't worry grade 8 grade 9 okay the grade new grade 8 the new grade 9 grade 8 and 9 science will be conducted by me so don't worry you can go a superb science journey with me and you also if you like to become a doctors i can support you because i am there in the medical faculty i can give you the idea what to do for o levels we have to go for classes all that i can help you and you can go in your uh, life journey of science okay then students thank you for joining the session we will meet you in the next classes assalam alaikum and very good morning to all of you Thank <clears throat> you.